Well, I got the knives today from the fellow who was going to meet me at the market yesterday. But ran into a snag getting there. I got three old carbon fiber saboteurs. I got one of them in the vice. I got a small one in the vice already. And then I got these two. Carbon fiber saboteurs. You can see they need a little cleaning up. They've been sitting a long time. And then I got a SOG called a Flashpoint. It's like a spring assisted. It's not automatic. But it might as well be. Once you close her, and you reach down and hit that button. I don't mean I don't hit the button, but the, you know, the thing right there, whatever you call it. I forget what you call it. She f zings right open for you. So it looks like it's relatively new. Don't look like it's cut much. If much, not very much. Factory edge. Uh, fairly dull. That'll all change soon. That's it. Action for Saturday afternoon is Sunday. So I'm going to bring them back to them tomorrow sometime. <coughs> okay. I told you I had the little, like a para knife, utility knife, or whatever you want to call it, in the vise already. Not much light in here, but I have cleaned it up with some fine grain sandpaper and some steel wool. But it's still pitted kind of heavy. I don't know if I'm, I'm going to text him in a little while, see how far he wants me to go with it. I got a good burr worked up on the other side already. Trying to follow that factory fine angle right there. Okay, get back to you in a little while. It's a beautiful day, finally. And I'm in the cabin. Rancho Max. You got that, Drew? See you later. Well, I'm going through the... Uh, 100 and 200 paddles on this SOG. And she's really shaping up nice. Ain't much sunlight in here now. It's in the afternoon late. I'm going to finish. I'm just going to quit on here in a minute and do it the rest of it in the morning. I can see better. But she's nice. She's already sharp. My God. I think it's going to be one of my finest creations ever. Okay, see you tomorrow. So, finishing up with the 400 paddles now.
Do we? This is tamped out, so I gotta do it and you know do the flat part first. Then I gotta move over to the bottom tip. Because of the style. Okay. And I have to sharpen it in two stages. Starting to strop it now with the leather strops. I go into four sides and then some diamond spray. Lower the angle two degrees, both sides. I think everybody knows that though. Finished up now. A thing of beauty. Dog Tanto. Get her out of there. We've got two more of those carbon steel saboteurs. We did one yesterday, you know, the small one. We got to do the two larger ones today. And then we'll be through it. Okay. I got the large saboteur in there now. Carbon steel saboteur. The largest. I think it's the largest. No, it's the longest. The biggest one, but not the longest one. Here's the other one. And I'll show you in a few minutes how well they're really cleaned up. It's amazing how nice they've turned out. I'm using the 50s right now. Switch 
go when you get to 80. Slicing saboteur. The slicer. I'm just about done with the large slicer. I've got the ceramics working on it now. I don't go any higher than the ceramics. I usually stop at 600, but I went to 800 on this one, as I did the other two. And I'll finish up with the fine ceramic. Okay, final stage, fine ceramic. I got to clean the blade up, some has got some smudges on it, but the, the sharpen part is ready.
Just with the tip. Nice knife. 